we can all use help when it comes to animation and compositing. After Effects knows this and it offers us different ways to help us along. Features like Motion Sketch, the Smoother, Auto Orient and others help us speed up our work. So, let's see what some of these helpers are all about. Let's start by creating a new composition. Go ahead and click on the New Comp icon at the bottom of the Project panel. These settings are OK and TSC DV and a duration of 5 seconds is good. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now grab the Ellipse tool and let's just draw a circle here on the middle of the screen. Remember, you can move this circle if you do not release the mouse button and you press and hold the space bar. There you go. Now let's go ahead under Window, Motion Sketch. A new panel should open at the bottom right hand side of your screen. Let's go ahead and move this so we can see it a little bit better. To the left of the words Motion Sketch, there are little dots. Let's go ahead and click there and let's drag it on top of the project panel. And now we can see it a little bit better. Let's go ahead and leave these settings as they are. Pay close attention to where the CTI is. In this case, the CTI is all the way at the beginning of the composition. Click on Start Capture. And all you have to do is draw your motion path. Once you release, let's go ahead and do a RAM preview. That's zero on your numeric keypad. And there you go. You have just drawn your path. Select the layer and press the letter U, and you will see all the keyframes that you just made. Let's talk a little bit about the panel. First, you can show a wireframe preview of what it is that you're drawing. Let me just illustrate that a little bit. I'll delete all of these position keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch. There you go, they're all gone. Make sure the CTI is all the way on the left. And when you click Start Capture and move the mouse cursor to the screen and start capturing, notice that the layer, the circle, just looks like a rectangle. Let's do it again, and this time let's deselect wireframe and let's start capture again. Notice that now we do not see any kind of rectangle. Delete that. If we had background, this would show as a still in here. So select this if you need to position something in relationship to its background. Start and duration are the length of the composition. And of course, start capture is self-explanatory. Capture speed sets the speed at which the motion path will be captured. 100% will be the same speed as when you move the mouse. More than 100% and the playback will be slower, and less than 100% and the playback will be faster. So let's just try the capture speed at 200%. Go ahead and click and type 200, and let's start the capturing. Go ahead and do a RAM preview. And you can see how the speed is now slower than when we captured it. Let's go ahead and delete that. Now let's change the capture speed to be 50%. Click on Capture. And let's draw the animation again. RAM preview it. And as you can see, it's playing back a lot faster. Let's go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and talk about the smoothing values. This smooths out the motion path. In other words, it will add more keyframes if you have a lower number and less keyframes if you have a higher number. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's change this to a 10 or so. And let me change this capture back to 100%. Move the CTI all the way to the beginning and start capturing. As you can see, there are a lot less keyframes now, and they rely on the Bezier curves to capture the motion. You can adjust the Bezier curves to match any kind of curve that you want. Let's go ahead and delete that. Now I'd like to capture a spiral, and I'm going to change the smoothing down to 1. And let's go ahead and click on Capture. There you go, and that's a 
pretty bad spiral, but that's what this is all about. If you draw your motion path and you did not set the smoothing, After Effects has another panel that will help you. Just go on the window and choose Smoother. The Smoother will actually smooth out the motion path based on a tolerance value, pretty much like what we did over here with smoothing, except as a separate panel. Let's go ahead and move this over here. Let's change this tolerance to about a 10 or so. Notice that if I deselect the keyframes, Apply gets grayed out, so it needs to see three or more keyframes in order to work. Let's go ahead and click on the word position to select all of the keyframes, and now just hit Apply, and there you go. That's a much easier motion path to adjust. So if I need to adjust the spiral, I can do that by adjusting just a couple of keyframes instead of the hundreds that we had before. Just like with a motion sketch, we can adjust these handles however we want. 